Alright, thanks for watching and today I would like to show you something really cool. Namely, I want to use matrices to calculate the inverse of a linear transformation. And you have to understand, in practice it's very hard to calculate T inverse because T is this abstract linear transformation, but it's actually very easy to calculate inverses of matrices. And I want to use this fact to calculate T inverse very easily. So, for example, consider the following linear transformation. T takes, let's say, polynomials of degree less than or equal to 1 as an input and spits out a vector in R2 in the following sense, T of A0 plus A1x equals to, let's say, what? was the one I wanted, so let's say, uh, yeah, uh, 5a0 plus uh, 2a1, and then uh, 2a0 plus, uh, let's say, 8 and the goal is, so you can show that t is invertible, and in fact we'll find a formula for it, and the goal is, find a formula for uh, t inverse. Okay, and remember t inverse in this case goes from R2 to P1. Now you could do it algebraically, I mean say using the definition of t inverse, but this is a big pain. Instead, let's use awesome linear algebra to do this. So step one, Let's calculate some matrix of T. And for this, we need bases. So let beta be, I think, 1 and x. Let me just double check if I did that right. Uh, yeah, 1 and x be a basis for P1. And gamma be 1, 0, 0, 1 be a basis for R2. So just choose the easiest basis in order to calculate, you'll see in a second, the matrix of a linear transformation. Then the first step is calculate the matrix of T with respect to the two bases. Of respect from beta to gamma. And to do that, very easy, you calculate T of the basis vectors and write it in terms of the output basis. So let's see, T of one, right? That corresponds to A zero is one, plus an A one is zero, sorry, zero X. And by definition, what this becomes, so this is A zero and this is A one, that becomes five times one plus two times zero, and 2 times 2 plus 0 times 1, so 5 comma 2, and that's 5 times 1, 0, plus 2 times 0, 1. Which tells you that the first column of the matrix is 5 comma 2. And same thing with x, so t of x, that's t of 0 plus 1x. So a0 is 0, a1 is 1, and that becomes... 5 times 0 plus 2 times 1, so 2, and 2 times 0 plus 1 times 1, which is 1, so 2 times 1, 0 plus 1 times 0, 1. Which tells you that the matrix of T is just 5, 2, 2, 1. T beta gamma is 5, 2. Again, column vectors, 5, 2 as a column, and 2, 1 as a column. Now we found this concrete matrix. One thing we can do is calculate the inverse of this matrix. So step two, calculate. By the way, if you're my student and you're watching this, I would give you the steps so for the exam. So T of this, inverse, what this just means it's this matrix inverse. Inverse 
And remember the inverse of A, B, C, D? It's 1 over A, B minus B, C. D minus B minus C, A. Here, conveniently, the determinant is 1. So 1 over 1, 1, 5, minus 2, minus 2. That then just becomes 1 minus 2, minus 2, 5. And from this, we can uh, find t. Because how is that related? So, we know that t from beta to gamma inverse equals to this matrix. 1 minus 2, sorry, yeah, 1 minus 2 minus 2, 5. Now here comes a beautiful fact, and if you're interested, I can prove this. The matrix, so if you take the inverse of the matrix, so the inverse of this list of numbers, it turns out it gives you the matrix of the inverse transformation. So you can find T inverse from that. So here's a big fact. That is the same thing as T inverse, but you have to switch the bases from gamma to beta. Minus 2, minus 2, 5. Now, what is that telling you? So remember, T goes from P1 to R2. So T inverse goes the opposite from R2 to uh, P1. So this, what this is telling you is, so T inverse of, let's say, uh, X comma Y. Mm, maybe let's see. So T inverse of uh, a vector uh, x comma y with respect to beta that equals to the matrix T inverse of uh, from gamma to beta. And this has to match, so it has to be the vector x, y with respect to beta. So again, this is a fact in linear algebra. If you take the output of a linear transformation and you calculate the coordinates, then it's the matrix times the coordinates of the input, which here is x, y. But remember, gamma was 1, 0 and 0, 1. So what are the coordinates of x, y? So x, y is x times 0, 1 plus y times, so x times 1, 0, plus y times 0, 1. So x, y with respect to gamma is just the vector x, comma, y. So what you're left with is this matrix, 1 minus 2 minus 2, 5 times x, y. And that gives you x minus 2, y minus 2, x plus 5, y. And that gives you t inverse of x comma y with respect to beta. Maybe let me rewrite this because I don't want to mix up our x's. So in other words, what this is telling you is t inverse of a naught a1 with respect to beta is a naught minus 2a1 and minus 2a1 plus 5, sorry, minus 2a0 plus 5a1. Now, remember that beta is the basis 1 comma x. So, because the coordinates of this with respect to beta are those two numbers, it tells you that what is t inverse? t inverse takes a number, a0, a1 as its input, and spits out this times 1 plus this times x. So t inverse of a0, a1 equals to a0 minus 2a1 times 1 plus minus 2a0 plus 5a1 times x. And this is your answer then. t inverse of a0, a1 equals to uh, a0 minus 2a1 
plus minus 2a0 plus 5a1x. And you can precisely um, um, let's call that, check that it undoes whatever the other linear transformation did. So I really think this is beautiful. I think this is literally the essence of linear algebra. We wanted to solve a very abstract problem by calculating t inverse. What we did, we made it concrete by using matrices. We used some concrete matrix algebra and some beautiful theorems in linear algebra. And using that concrete result here, we then came back to the abstract. So linear algebra is this beautiful interplay between the concrete and the abstract. So I hope you enjoyed this problem as much as I did. If you want to see more math and more linear algebra, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.